What's going on boys, it's your boy Bottom Feeder here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download anything onto a school computer or any uh, thing that you don't have administrated to. Now this can only be done on desktop and a laptop. You can't do it on a phone clearly because you need to have Notepad. Anyway, so first thing you're going to want to do is open up Notepad and copy and paste the, um, the coding, whatever you want to call it, into the Notepad that I've put in the description. And just get rid of the program name thing. And what you're going to want to do is create a new folder for anything. So just create a folder on your desktop. And for anything you want to install, um, once if you want to install Steam for an example, you go onto the Steam website, you click install, and you save it, um, and then find the installer. And once you found the installer, you want to drag it into here. And what you're going to want to do is save the notepad and click save as and then you go to desktop real quick and you go wherever the new folder is here I didn't name it so you can just save it here and what you're gonna wanna do just type uh, download thing and then dot bat now this bat is gonna run the command for you um, in that folder so Let's just put, um, uh, sure, why not? Steam. So start Steam. Oh, God, I spelled that wrong. I'm stupid. Uh, and then click save. And then what you're going to do, you're going to do this new folder, and it's going to have a .bat. Now, what you're going to want to do, it, uh, let's say it was a Steam installer. If, if it was, um, uh, Steam setup, you just type Steam setup, and it run the Steam command that's in there or the Steam, uh, whatchamacallit, the Steam installer that's in here, and it will do it without admin permission. Um, now that I have it set to Steam, all I gotta do is double click on it. Um, since I already have Steam open, hold on, let, let me, l let's just try this, we'll close down my Steam that I have open right now. Anyway, um, <coughs> just double click on it, uh, and what should happen? It's I, my Steam won't close anyway. Um, what should happen is it will. St oh, it's because it's um, a shortcut anyway. Don't use a shortcut. Uh, use the actual like file name, whatever. Um, anyway, and what it's gonna do? It's gonna run the thing that's in here. So Steam setup. It will automatically run it, and it will ask you to install. Um, Anyway, that's basically all you gotta do. You can do this for any program. You just click, right click, and click edit, and make it anything. You could even do um, SCP driver. Sure, I, I guess I have that, right? Yeah. Okay, save, and you can drag the driver in here. You see, it says SCP driver. Make sure you type in the name correctly. It's because I spelled it wrong. Anyway, um, so all you gotta do, you just edit and make the program name whatever you want the program or whatever program you want to run so let's say call of duty you have to actually write out call of duty um hearthstone you write out hearthstone um and that's really all you gotta do and then once you're done that you just double click on the download thing whatever you named it and it will start the command if the um if the uh, the program is in here, like the setup or whatever is in here, and anyway, that's all you gotta do. Um, make sure to hit that thumbs up, <coughs> and thank you guys so much for watching. If you could subscribe, that'd be awesome. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video. Enjoy.